My name is Elisa Bunbury and I'm the Grimwade Collection Curator at the Ian Potter Museum of Art. And one of my jobs is to look at art relating to the Grimwade Collection, that is art that was donated by Sir Russell and Lady Mab Grimwade to the university, which came following their deaths or following Mab's death in 1973. And I've chosen uh, a group of works by the artist Margaret Stones. Uh, and Margaret was one of the most important botanical artists working uh, during the 20th century. And she came from Melbourne during the Second World War, came ill and was actually bed bound. And during that period, she started drawing botanical art. Beautiful, simple drawings, very detailed. She held her first exhibition at George's Gallery, a commercial gallery in 1946. And Daryl Lindsay bought a work for the National Gallery of Victoria at that time. Uh, and literally she went on to great things from there. In 1951, she moved to London. She worked as a freelancer, but she was soon regularly employed by Kew Gardens. And she became one of their dedicated botanical artists. Upon her retirement, Margaret returned to Australia and was able to donate freely to various institutions, including the university. So these are some examples of the many works that have come to the university collection, both directly given by Margaret herself and also given by friends of Margaret's and people who had collected her art. And this is an example of the level of detail that she was able to work to or needed to work to to reach the standards of scientific illustration that were required. You can see the way in which she's done the pencil sketches with many annotations of exactly what is required uh, and then these beautiful watercolours where she's recording the colour, recording the texture uh, and then she could work this up further into finished uh, watercolours. Uh, regrettably, she died a couple of years ago, but she is uh, recognised internationally as one of the most significant botanical artists of her era.